This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. How are you? Good to see you. It's uh, Wednesday now, um, the uh, 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 third day of the week, fourth day of the week. Oh, no, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, with fourth day of week. Is it? That's something. Like that. I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm just feeling uh, just a little bit, uh, a little, I'm feeling okay. Just, you know, that, that little malaise, that tiredness that I've been getting is still happening. So I don't know. I don't know what it's from. But I will try and make it through the next hour. If I don't, I'll just quit. I'll let you guys finish without me. Anyway, uh, it's time now, as we do every now and then, uh, to go over to see our old friend, Phil Meyer. Let me admit him here to the, uh, to the thing so that he is uh, okay. And uh, let's see if he pops up. There's, there's his name there. Okay, pop up, will you? There you yeah. go. There hey, you are. There you are. It's not Monday. What do you mean pop up? I mean it's Wednesday. What do I mean Wednesday? No, but on Monday's the pop up. Oh, I see. And you know, I'm not allowed on the pop up. Let me see here. Um, I'm, I, yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do some uh, a few little things here to make myself look better. Okay. Oh, wear so, a mask? Huh? What? You no. got a mask? No, no. I'm gonna just remember do this up there. There we go. Yeah. Oh, just, oh, just a little bit more up. There we go. Isn't that cute? Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, you know, I, you notice I have a new camera. Uh, no, I can't tell from here. Yeah. Well, you can't tell because the camera is so good that it's actually better than my 4K. Wow. Uh, oh, the, yeah, I heard you talking about buying a yeah. new camera. You know, and this one doesn't said, glitch. It doesn't glitch. The color is terrific on it. The clarity yeah. is terrific, you know. Well, and it looks like I'm using my 4K camera. It's better than my 4K. Can you send back those Brios and get a refund? Uh, all four of them? No. Yeah, just tell them they're glitching and, you know, you bought something else. It's well, not. If you so want one cheap, I can send it to you, you know. <laughs> uh, I have one. Uh, I have a Logitech something. I think it's a Brio. Yeah. Uh, but... I bought that Elgato, and um, uh, I didn't like it. It's horrible. It, it, it's horrible. Yeah, it didn't have any adjustability, or and it uh, didn't. Ha it, if you tried to, if you, this is the Elgato uh, face cam, it's called. Yeah, and if and you, it was expensive. Yeah, and I, I, I sent away for it, and then it glitched a lot. But that may have been my problem. But I don't care, because but, then I oh. ordered. Then I ordered a, a Logitech. Uh, new camera and uh, it was glitching too so I sent it back and then finally I fixed the problem because the glitching was that Zoom didn't tell you that you've got to download a certain Zoom for the uh, new, uh, new uh, yeah. silicon chip right once I did that yeah. didn't glitch but my 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 uh, Brio was still glitching so I sent away for a Razer uh, Keo it's called and I'm uh, telling you, it is, it just fits right on there. It's nice. It looks great. It just looks like a lens looking at you. And well, it's maybe, really great. Maybe the Logitech isn't compatible with the new computer. No, I don't think it's that. No? I think it's not compatible with Monterey. Ah. Uh, I, I, I've had problems with my old 920, 930, whatever it was. Yeah. When they... Uh, to, to Monterey, yeah, or, or, uh, it was it was a problem. Well, uh, Phil's medical minute. I am getting ready to prep. Now, I wanted the stuff that you recommended, which is the two pints, uh, because I'm going to get a colonoscopy. Yeah, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And uh, but they sent me the one gallon thing, so why, I figured. Why, did you, why didn't you ask them about that other stuff? Uh, I, I I didn't really have much communication. 
th this is Kaiser, you know. Uh, well, uh, screw them. Then don't showed up. Screw them. You want you, you're you're a patient. You want answers. Well, I'll just drink the stuff they told me to drink. I I, I can no, force well, it. No, what now. I do is I get this thing. It's called uh, citrate or something. Uh, yeah. And and um, I haven't had to do one in a while because my my uh, 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 gastroenterologist doesn't think. I guess doesn't think I need it at my age. Yeah. Um, because I'm they they got this idea. Hey, you know, you're gonna die of something else. Yeah, isn't that lovely? Well, thank you so very very much. I appreciate it. Okay. I'm eight. I'm well, 18 years overdue on this. Oh, you really? Yeah. I I had a sigmoidoscopy somewhere in my 50s. Mm -hmm. uh, it was clean. Mm -hmm. Then they give you these fit tests, which is a little thing you poop on and uh, put it in a vial and send it. It is vial, but you send yeah. it off to them. Yeah. And, uh, that, was, that was fine. Yeah. Uh, and did you do something on YouTube that made it glitch? Uh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, 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 no. Um, it's no. fine now. Okay. But... There we go. Is it glitching again? See? No. Oh, see, I'm, I actually moved to another screen for a second because I had to turn something off. Oh, so, okay. Anyway. Oh, yeah, they just did it again. Oh, it should, oh, oh that, that's because it's... Yeah, it, remember, it's, I'm delayed. You're delayed, yeah. Okay. So, Sorry, okay. everybody. Uh -huh. I, I always do things that I shouldn't be doing while I'm doing a show. <laughs> Only when he talks to Phil. Okay. But, uh, well, you know, I, I listened to your nice show. It's getting very political. And no, 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 it, no it, 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 it's a nice show, but we're not saying that you, we don't do politics. Oh, there yeah. it is. I see what it did when I moved to another page. It made all that glitchy stuff. Yeah, yeah. I just saw it. Yeah. Well, uh, no, actually, kind of neat. It, it, yeah, it was. It looks looks kind of cool. Excuse me, folks, if you really uh, feel like all of a sudden you were on acid and you had an acid acid flashback from, yeah. you know. But anyway. Hey, the colors. Well, there it goes again. <laughs> see, because I moved it again, and then I'll probably get to the page, and it should be okay, shouldn't it? Well, don't do it too much because you'll break oh, that new. Camera. Oh, there we go. See, see yeah. what it did. Yeah, no, uh, yeah. I, I it's, won't do it again, folks. So, please excuse me. I'm sorry. All right. Jesus Christ. So, uh, where was I? Know, where was I? Oh, yeah. The Monday show isn't defined by the fact that we don't talk about politics. It's just we don't get nasty to each other. Well, you know, uh, last time, uh, the t a couple times ago, somebody wanted to punch me in the nose. And, uh, it, you know, it, it doesn't get nasty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, I've been going to the gym, so I I'm ready. Actually, I got up at 4 this morning uh, for my 545. Uh, I have a personal trainer now. So uh, I, this personal trainer, I'm doing CrossFit, and it's just one on one. Uh, I I feel great, you know. It's it's been a, a real. Oh, you're gonna feel great. great. You know why you're gonna feel great? Because you're paying somebody to make you feel great, and you don't want to say you're not feeling great because that would mean you're wasting your goddamn money. Well, they're they're having me do a lot of stuff that I've never done before. I've never lifted weights and uh, barbells and. Oh, I did uh, all of that. Yeah. 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 So, you know, I used to install carpet. One time so. I had muscles and just a big chest muscles. and so oh yeah. 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 And then I yeah. I got tired of going. Well, it's uh it's been a good experience. Yeah, so you'll far. get tired of going. Oh well, yeah, I'm already tired of going. I mean I getting up at four in the morning to be uh there at five forty five ready to go. And uh, you know, this morning I couldn't have my coffee yeah, because but, they don't allow it with any anyway, call. Anyway, getting back to the Monday show, because you brought oh, okay. it up. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, uh, we weren't, uh, there was nobody getting nasty, belligerent. Nobody was talking net trash about anybody. It was basically, it was a nice discussion about the politics of the day. Yeah. You know. Well, but, uh, yeah. You know, uh, if, if it's you a think different, the show has a different nature to it. Let me put it that yeah. way. Well, let's see if I can find... Then, uh, then this piece of crap, okay? Well, uh, here, uh, do you want to hear the politics of the day? This is, this is a message from Tony. Wait a minute. Oh, good. You're getting... You, you're going you're gonna, to... Uh, the wisdom according to Tony. Huh? Yeah. 
and I can again, I want him to run. You know what I want him to do? I want him to run. Told you. Set pie in a whole fucking place. What's it? What's that? Every one of these motherfuckers. Uh, there, uh, here. Who's so, yeah. I'm for the, the bitch, because that's what she is. This is this is what I get. This is what I get all day long. There there must have been 30, uh, 30 things now. I have unleashed a monster in Tony. You no, know? you haven't unleashed it. You can just ban him from your Facebook. Well, no, yeah, but his his uh, his right wing leanings. Uh, you know, he's is he a proud boy, or you know, is he? Uh, I got to tell you, no, he's a moron. <laughs> okay, he's a moron, and I'll tell him that if he calls. He's a moron. Yeah, well, I got a feeling that he's uh, getting ready for the uh, January seventh, maybe. You know, uh, all I'm saying is, is that, like, for instance, hey, you know, you don't have to like Liz Cheney, but the only reason you don't like her is because she's against Trump. Otherwise, she's more conservative than you are. Well, I don't like her because she's against Trump. I liked her father. Uh, you know, I thought he was a good leader. He was against Trump. Yeah, I know. That's why Trump and him don't get along. But while he was vice president, I uh, I was. Uh, I said as soon as he him. didn't go like it, didn't go along with the, your moronic uh, presidential choice. Yeah. Well, thing, things change. I mean, uh, yeah. One yeah. Minute, he, 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 uh, as he yeah. aged, he became more and more obsessive and. Crazy, uh, is that Cheney or Trump? Trump, <laughs> Trump. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you know, I think. Yeah, have you watched him at his rallies lately? Yes. He seems to still have his uh, his his personality. Uh, that's, and, uh, that's a personality. Yeah. No, well, it's not. It, it, no, it's, it's not, not only the entertaining, uh, but uh, what. Yeah, I think he's very entertaining. Oh boy, oh god! And uh, you know, I'm I'm kind of hoping he will run again. You know, it said that 49 percent of Republicans uh, support Trump, 24 uh, percent support DeSantis, and uh, I heard quite the opposite, Phil. I saw another poll that said that uh, Trump was down around 40 percent, 39 percent, and DeSantis was in the 50s. Uh, I don't know where you saw that. Of I course, saw, I saw I mine saw, on Trump on uh, Fox. You got yours on Fox, but the fact is that uh, you know, the, but polls this early don't mean a goddamn thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, and, I wonder and, if he's going to run. You know, you've got and uh, the majority of Democrats don't want uh, Biden to run again. No, I, even uh, what's his name Newsom. He showed up at the White House. Was it today? Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Biden wasn't there. He was, uh, he, was measure, his, he was measuring the drapes. Measuring for the drapes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was checking out the office. <laughs> I think he wants to change the color scheme, too, from red, white, and blue to uh, something else. I don't think it is red, white, and blue, is it? The flag. Oh, the flag. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No, you know, the, uh, the Oval Office, it, it's, a, it's a beautiful room. The, many of those rooms are. It's not a, it's so not a beautiful. It, no, it's not a beautiful room. It's an intimidating room. Uh, you know the story on that. That if you want to make a deal, you just bring mm -hmm. somebody into the Oval Office, and he'll like fall to his knees because he's in the Oval Office. You know. Really? Yeah. Well, uh, it has a, a very similar sofa uh, to your sofa. Well, Matter actually, we just got rid of our sofa today. Uh, okay, you're gonna need a new picture. Well, yeah, I'm going to take a new picture after we get the new sofa in. We have a new rug. The sofa comes yeah. on Saturday. The super yeah. for 300 bucks. His guys hauled away the old sofa. You yeah. had to pay somebody to haul away the old sofa? The new sofa people wouldn't take it? No. No. Oh, no. no. All you had to do was break it up and throw it in the, uh, in, in the, in the garbage chute. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> this is a huge couch. Yeah. Well, so I don't mind paying the guys in this building money to do stuff like that, you know, because yeah. they do a good job for us and they're nice, you know. So. Yeah. How, how is, uh, we haven't heard about your uh, uh, 
your uh, lease and your uh, rental saga? Is everything going according to Hoyle? Well, if I could go over there and go look for it, we now have the lease. Congratulations. We have the lease. But, you know, we don't know for how long. I mean, we don't know if they're going to appeal this. So far, I haven't gotten any word that they're appealing it, and I think they had to appeal it by now. Hmm. Otherwise, they can't appeal it. So, well, and maybe they've spent enough. They're happy enough having you in there. They probably figure those two old farts won't be won't last that long. You know that 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 had crossed my mind. You know, you know oh, they got about five years left. Okay, we can wait them out. You know, we've waited yeah. this long. Yeah. Well, what has it been? Eight years? Ten, uh, ten years? Yeah. Of fighting? Yeah. Sure well, has. I, I'm glad. I'm glad you got it. Yeah. Uh, well, you know. Yeah. But we do have it now. Yeah. We have. We have the the now. If if it goes into appeal, then we got another problem we got to deal with there. But, yeah. Yeah. You know. uh, and it's going to cost. It's not going to cost us because we're not defending ourselves. But we got to go in there and have the lawyer uh, state our rights, okay, yeah. and what we need and what it should be. Uh, and uh, so I don't know. We'll wait till we get to that bridge and cross it because I think if that happens, it's going to benefit the guy who had this apartment more than it's even going to benefit us. And I yeah. think he should pay some of my lawyer's fees. Yeah, well, especially since you gave him seven. Because he's going to benefit from anything my lawyer does, and his lawyer is not a, a landlord-tenant lawyer and would not be as good in this appeal as our guy would be. He, what, do you have a sports lawyer? No, he just had some kind of lawyer-lawyer from Brooklyn. Yeah. You know. well, uh, uh, but, I mean, a nice guy, you know, but not a very, I don't think, good lawyer and doesn't know this kind of law. And mm -hmm. so he's got my our lawyer's going to have to jump in there and you know give and people some information as to what's right and what's wrong. That's at 550 an hour. Yeah, $5.50 oh, an hour. 550. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I I, 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 told you about, I told you about the lawyer I had uh, where I had called him once to wish him a happy birthday and I got oh, I got a bill got for bill. it. I, I was getting billed by my divorce attorney. Every time he went on vacation, he sent a letter out to let me know that he was on vacation. And I'd get a bill for it. Uh, and finally, I told him, I said, I don't care when you're on vacation. Don't, don't send me anything. <laughs> and then, yeah. You know, yeah. And uh, yeah. it, it was, uh, so we get in and we're doing the negotiations with the two attorneys, my ex-wife and myself. And they start talking about golf. And I said, hey, enough with the golf. Let's get down to this and get it done. And uh, did you ask him if that was going to go on the bill? No, I just I stopped them. I stopped them cold, <laughs> you know, karate chop, price slasher. You know, <laughs> and, well, uh, I created a, 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 a the only the only uh, uh, Internet, the only uh, computer program I ever wrote was a sh sh short, small one in the early days of the. Uh, of the uh, internet and of the computers and I did it because I I knew how to do it do this yeah. simple program what I did is I created a program that whenever somebody called him all he had to do was click on it and the wheels would start going and telling him how much money he was making <laughs> if, if first he put in the amount okay yeah. that he was charging and then he would start it and then just, you know and I called it the lawyer, lawyer-o-matic. I think I called it something. I like think that. that's a great idea. And I sent it to him, and he didn't think it was funny. Yeah, well, you know, they have those things for chess players, where one guy hits the the button, and it starts keeping time of how long he's moving his piece, mm -hmm. and then he stops. And once he moves his piece, he hits it again, and the next guy hits the other one, mm -hmm. and it keeps t track of their cumulative time. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, that is so, um, um, you know, that's that's what's happening with our lawyers. Yeah. So I, I need to ask you. Yeah. Uh, I think they said start doing this prep 12 hours prior to the procedure. The procedure is at 2 in the afternoon tomorrow. Uh, I guess I didn't have enough pull to get it in the morning. And uh, so what do I have to, when should I start this thing? You should have started it this evening. Oh, well, it's only seven thirty. 
Well, uh, you know, yeah. but it says, he, he, what they said to you was, start at 12 hours before the procedure, and that would mean you'd have to do it at 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, so I'm going to start when I get done with you. Yeah, well, uh, do, do it, I'll, and that'll clear you out. You'll probably be able to go to sleep. And what usually they do is they make always make me take this stuff, then I poop my brains out. Yeah. I didn't say shit because I don't want to get demonetized. <laughs> and uh, I, I poop my brains out. Yeah. And uh, that's cool, you know. And then uh, I get up the next morning and I do another prep, a uh, bunch of it, and I poop not my brains out, just my liver. And yeah. <laughs> um, or and kidneys. <laughs> and that cleans me out. And then I go in and he does the the thing. And afterwards, uh, he says to me something like. You were very clean. You really cleaned yourself out well. And well, uh, I go, you know, I kind of feel good about that. I don't know why I feel good about that, but I feel good about that. I haven't eaten solid food since yesterday. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe around 5 or 6 o'clock, I, I stopped mm -hmm. eating solid food. And I've just been pounding water and uh, regular tea and mm -hmm. uh, uh, jello. Ooh, oh, by the jello. way, while we're here... So yeah. everybody can have one uh, a look at it. This is the old couch. Right. It's not there anymore because this is a still, but that's the old couch. You should have put it on Craigslist. Huh? You should have put it on Craigslist. Oh. Then somebody would come, they take it away, and, you would, and they'll give you money. It, it was shabby, as you can see. See that little piece of cloth there? Yeah. See the it blanket? Right there? Yeah, that. Right? That's yeah. to cover the fact that the thing is all ripped. Because oh. it was just getting old. Think, you know how old that, that couch is? Something like 25 years old. Yeah, except sofas like that have coil springs and down cushions. and. Well, the uh, cushion, the cushions were dead. They had to be. We were told by stuff. somebody that if they redid it, they'd have to also put in new, new cushions and everything. And Marjorie felt as long as we were going to do that and spend $5,000 to do that, the yeah. 25 Nine hundred, I think she was able to get a brand new couch just like it. Oh, so it's the same shape. Same shape, same configuration. Yeah, it, yeah. it's a nice configuration in that apartment. Yeah, yeah. So um, uh, that's a. It's going to be our new couch. So you know, yeah, we're, we're happy. You ever sit on it? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Sure. I mean, and, and uh, but I it kind of makes me feel skeezy doing it because it's getting ripped. It's it's old. It's falling. Yeah, uh, it's falling apart. The edges are falling apart. You know. So I, I remember the couch you had in Sausalito. I spent a week on it, and uh, it was comfortable. I can't even remember it. Yeah, it, it was very comfortable. Wasn't that a, a, a bed as well? Didn't it make a? I don't a think bed? so. I, I, think I so. just I slept on the cushions. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, you re you remember when they wouldn't let us leave Sausalito, mm -hmm. and uh, they they uh, there was these floods. No, they wouldn't let you, they wouldn't let you leave Sausalito. They didn't. Well, they wouldn't me. let anybody they didn't mind leave. me going. Oh no no, you couldn't go through the I tunnel. Know, I know, I'm kidding, Phil. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, nobody in, nobody out. It was like uh, it was like martial law, and uh, so so they evacuated my apartment. Mm -hmm. which was just below the Altamira Hotel. And they were afraid that the hotel was going to slide on top of my building. Oh, really? Yeah, that's why you had me stay at, at your place. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we, we walked around. We had a good time. Did we? Yeah. That, actually, you did the show from the kitchen table. That I remember. Yeah. And uh, we walked over and, and did a uh, call from the 7-Eleven payphone. And uh, we said we were looking for girls. <laughs> so so uh, we, we left there, walked down the street, and you called in. Oh, okay. I did. Okay. All right. So yeah. uh, is it time for uh, the, the priority group? No, not yet. No? Not okay. Yet. So um, um, let's see here. What, what is happening in the near? You know, I've been ignoring it lately. I uh, Biden is uh, is in Saudi Arabia and Israel, uh, and I people are saying that the uh, the Iran uh, negotiations have fallen apart, partially because uh, 
Israel and uh, the Saudis aren't very happy about letting the Iranians uh, have a pathway to an atomic bomb. Or well, so you of, deal with them, you talk to them, you try to negotiate. Do you think they're going to negotiate? Yeah, I think so. They did once before. It was Trump that ruined all that. Yeah, well, their deal that they got from uh, Obama was uh, was such a good deal for them and such a bad deal for the rest of the it world. It was a good deal for the rest of the world as well because it assured us some kind of a country not having, you know, the same. For 10 years. Yeah, but that's better than nothing. Well, no, you know, instead it, Trump no, just nothing blew, would be better than ten. Trump just blew the whole deal, and they said "fuck you," and they started making their their nuclear device again, doing enriching uranium. Yeah, they said they were at what twenty percent. So, I don't know. I don't know what yeah, they're at, but all I'm saying is, is that uh, we wouldn't be in this problem right now if if Trump hadn't created the problem. Well, the interesting thing that I I heard today was there was a commercial where this woman in a very calm voice was saying if there's a nuclear uh nuclear uh, event a nuclear a nuclear. Uh, nuclear event that uh don't go outside uh take a shower remove your clothes put them in a plastic bag isn't that the same advice we got for covid yeah, yeah, and and it was also uh, yeah, it was it was and as you know, and they said, well, you don't want the nucle nuclear 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 dust to uh, to fall on you, so don't go outside. Didn't they also realize that if there's a nuclear bomb, that everybody's going to melt? Yeah, it's, it's yeah. You know. Remember all that stuff we did in school? Yeah, under the desk. Yeah. Yeah. But I was more flexible in those years. With your hand on the back of your neck, I think it was. Yeah, well... Uh, you know, that's that was kind I, of like the advice they used to give you for, for earthquakes. Remember that advice? Um, yeah, stand in the doorway? Stand in the doorway. One yeah. time there was an earthquake in San Francisco. They found a guy dead in his doorway. <laughs> <laughs> he probably had a heart attack. Yeah, I mean, that was the worst piece of advice you could give anybody, from what I was told. You know. Well, you know, if there's a uh, other natural disasters, hurricane, mm -hmm. what do they tell you to do? Get in the bathtub. Right. God, I can't believe how good looking this camera is. It's really good, isn't it? Well, it's just a little wasted on, on you. you know. What do you mean it's wasted on me? <laughs> well, you know, you, you well, got I'm also using the fuzzy there. thing that you can do with Zoom that yeah. it makes you look slightly better. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it's, it's soft. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a little soft. Yeah, uh, uh, you know. So, so uh, hey, uh, let's see what else is going on. Uh, you know, I was I was watching. Uh, I got a, a, a Facebook message, not personally to me. It was mm -hmm. a posting from uh, from Brian Neary, mm -hmm. and he sounded very angry. You know, he said, "Hey, I nobody gave me nothing. I'm self made." I started working when I was six years old, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, and he started reiterating all his jobs. Uh, I don't, I don't understand. Well, here why. you can talk to him. Yeah, I'm just wondering why he was angry about uh, uh, that that hey, post today. I, oh, there he is. <laughs> hey, do you have COVID, Brian? Yes. I think you do. <laughs> How could you tell? Well, uh, you know, when you you spent a week with your daughter to stay away from your wife with the COVID, and then your daughter ends up with COVID, I assume that... It was only a matter of time. Yeah. 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 Oh, no. Oh, yeah, well, no. Uh. <laughs> On Monday's show, I was waiting for the results, but uh, they didn't come till a couple hours after. Well, I had a test on Monday because I'm getting a procedure tomorrow. And I was very surprised because my nose was running the day or two before I was coughing a little bit and I was negative. So, you know, maybe maybe they use somebody else's test. This this uh, these symptoms are cough and sore throat. That's everything that I've been seeing. So, yeah, well, that's that's what I've heard is the common. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, no, uh, there's the there, there there's typhoid Mary. <laughs> that means that you started the COVID here. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good, good to see you. I always love 
I always love Phil's medical moment. You'll get absolutely, absolutely no information. <laughs> I, you know, at least for me. Oh, by the way, let me let me tell but, Tiffany. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I want to say something to stuff. Tiffany before she leaves the room. Yeah. Oh, sorry. My wife gave it to me, so I, you know, don't feel bad. But I think I think I think she gave it to our other daughter Stephanie, and Stephanie gave it to Adrian. And then since I was sleeping with Adrian, or since I was in their same room with Adrian uh -huh. all night, then uh, then I think that happened. Uh, then I got it from her. Yeah. Now is Tiffany worried about getting reinfected? No. No, Why? but we're, we actually, but we're, yeah. this is the closest we've been. Like. Yeah, week. we always stayed away. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oops. Yeah. 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 So, well, yeah, anyway, so, okay, thanks, go thanks for giving it to him because uh, he's been yeah. so snotty about the fact that he wasn't getting it. <laughs> you know. yeah. yeah, Alex was too, and then we both got the right thing. I got it. <laughs> go ahead, Alan, because I've got something to say about you. So That's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. You know, so, yeah, Phil's medical moment. He gets on and says, this is Phil's medical moment. I got a colonoscopy coming up, and I want to take this stuff that you've had, Alex. Yeah. Everybody on the show is thinking he must be talking about magnesium citrate. Magnesium Relaxative, citrate. Right, yes. right. Which I know you know, Alex. But Phil didn't know. He had no clue. He could have been drinking horse pits. You know, when he went to medical school before he became a carpet layer, they showed him how to trim a nail, a, a fingernail, and he said, Up, oh, that's too much. I can't remember that. Right. Yeah. He well a carpet layer. I've been busting Alan's hump all week. Now, his, his on Facebook, his mother's profile comes up and says, do you want to friend this person? So I told Alan, I said, you know, your mother's not bad looking. Uh, you know, how, how would you like to be my stepson? <laughs> and, you know, so I've been busting his chops all well, How old's your mother, Alan? Uh, older than you. She's 88. Oh, really? Okay. She's too old for me. Yeah, she's healthy and she's because got money. I, I would just love to have you call me dad. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> well, he can he can actually you can't be my uh, you're we're too close in age. You would have been five, but Alex is twenty years older than me. So hey, it doesn't matter. You know, your your mother and I will just you know go out and my know. mother has class and taste. Two things you don't have. <laughs> can we change the subject, please? <laughs> Brian's All right. I'd rather talk about Trump. <laughs> you, 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 I'm enjoying it. You don't like to hear about our dating habits? Yeah. <laughs> Not with you and, and you made, Bill. You made, an, you made an interesting comment, Alex, here about earthquakes. You said the worst piece of advice that you ever heard was standing in a doorway. Now, mm -hmm. I think the worst piece of advice that we've ever heard is vote for Trump. <laughs> Well, it worked on you in the last election. Yeah, you did vote for Trump, didn't you, you yeah. skeezy bastard? <laughs> you know, I, usually when I vote for somebody, they lose. I was trying to jinx them, and it worked. I can call, him a, a, I can call him a skeezy bastard because this isn't Monday. Yeah, it, it, you know, he had a moment uh, that he was lucid, and that's when he voted for Trump. I love lucid. Yeah. Yeah, so do I. That's a good feeling. So, yeah, no, I usually, whoever I vote for loses, and it worked in this case. So you think I look better without a hat? I think you look fine either way. Either way. A hat is usually like this on you anyhow. It's wrinkled, you know? <laughs> it's not wrinkled. Wrinkled. It wears hats all the time. It's not Brian's wrinkled. hat You're is so, nice. Don't you, when you first get a new hat like that, take the bill and kind of crush it to kind of give it a, yeah. a, a, yeah. a look here. Yeah. That's what I, I, I don't. I don't look good in the ball cap. I, I like that. I like that look. You look very distinguished, Jeff. Yeah, it actually does. Yeah, and we can hear you better if you unmuted yourself. But it, if if Jack if, if Jeff, uh, oh, there, there we go. Oh, here it comes. Good. Oh, we spoke. Uh, his, that's we, my daughter's. We spoke his name earlier, and guess who's coming? Here we go, uh, Mr. T. Uh, uh oh. Mr. T, I pity the fool. <laughs> Hi, Tony. He Ooh, likes it when plant. Oh, wait, I want to get back to Brian in a second. Brian, did you say something nasty about about Phil? Did you write? No, no, something? he didn't. Uh, he he posted. Oh no no no! I had a yeah no. I just had a 
a post because uh, because my it's a frustrating thing with teenagers and them playing so many hours of games. And so I can reflect back to when I was his age, knowing that I had worked already three jobs in my life. So thinking about that stuff, I'm like, you know what, you know, how how you know how do you get all this stuff? And I got all this stuff by hard work when I was very young. So, you know, I just posted that I had worked these jobs and these jobs and these jobs. And you know, I worked uh, AMP and Mini Mart for my junior and junior summer, my junior senior yeah. summer, my junior senior summer. I had two jobs. I worked seven days a week, and I worked at Special Physics during the week and uh, AMP and Mini Mart on the weekends. Mm-hmm. And I worked at HP on. Uh, and my this senior, is how you put I, your, this is how you put yourself through school. Yeah, uh, what's how I put myself, how I survived because my stepfather was with his girlfriends all the time and I had no money. How do I, how am I going to drive and, and all that stuff? So, yeah, so, anyways, I just put that and I, I just told my son today he wants to play games. And I said, I want you to give me current state and where you're going to be next summer and the following summer after you graduate and then five years from there. And he just wrote down some garbage stuff. And it's just like, where, where's your future? You know, and he has so much opportunity. That's why. He, as parents, we get all this stuff also, right? So our kids are that much more forward. Well, you that. know, I mean, mm-hmm. especially now that you do have kids, which you yeah. didn't have for so long, and when you could be a selfish bastard all about yourself, you now do care about their future. You do care what's going to happen with them. And you want them to have a, a, a plan. On the other hand, okay, here's what I think is so wrong about our society. Kid goes to, uh, kid goes to high school. He gets out of high school and then he immediately goes into college and he's supposed to figure out what he's going to study for. Mm -hmm. Now, what kid at 18 really knows what he wants to be? I knew what I wanted to do. I know what I want. You wanted to lay carpet, right, Phil? No, no, (laughs) not necessarily. It was in my genes, but I I think that they should reinstate the draft. That uh, no, 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 military. No. Jesus, Phil, no. go fuck yourself. No, no, I think the military does a yeah, lot. Yeah, to... the, the the draft really helped this country a great deal during the Vietnam well, War. Well, maybe it, not during it, Vietnam, it, but well, even in it a tore it to shreds. It, 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 you know, Phil, the, the get kids a bet. don't get, get... have discipline anymore. Oh, I they, see. They don't have a trade, and they, and they and then you're, to... you voted for a guy who doesn't have any. Military time. Discipline. Of course he did. He went to a military academy. Oh, you know, he was forced to go to a military academy by his father because he was too difficult a child. Hey, I went to West Point. I walked right across. I looked over at the cannons, and I got back in my car and left. But get out. I also went to Oxford. I I walked across the campus. Yeah. I I played basketball at Stanford. Yeah. Out, outside in the courts, yeah, we used to run ball up there. Hey, but see, my, 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 point, my point is, you know, 10 hours of games, you know, how, how much of that time can I beg for to, to learn something, you know? So it's just a frustrating point as a parent right now. So. Well, I mean, but, not, but it's, it's very difficult. I think it's a very uh-huh. hard thing to do to kids to tell yeah. them at a young age, at that young an age, well, pick out what you want to do for the rest of your life. You know, we find out that, mo- young, we find like out that most kids who go to school for stuff, by the time they get out of school and by the time 10 yeah. years have passed, they're an entirely different profession. Mm. So maybe they shouldn't go to school until maybe they're 22, 23, and they have some idea what they want to do with their lives. Or we can kick them out of the house at age 16 when they can drive, and then they really figure out what they're going to do pretty quick. Yeah, I mean, I knew always knew what I wanted to do, okay? Uh, uh, not to say radio, but entertaining. And uh, so I knew what I wanted to do. Uh, but I'm, I was very rare. I didn't know any of the kids that really knew exactly what they wanted to do, you know? You know, my friend Barry, who just got in the uh, the uh, Country Music Hall of Fame la- mm-hmm. last week, mm-hmm. uh, he wanted to be in radio. Uh, I've known him since I'm four years old, and he was six. And even at six years old, radio was all he dreamed of. Every day, he would copy down the survey at WMCA. He kept track of all the statistics, uh, and that was, that was his dream. And uh, here it is. He's... 
almost 70, and now he was When I, I was three years old, my mother told me that we would take rides, yeah. like up, the, up, up uh, Telegraph Hill on buses. And while we were on the buses, I would pull out a salt shaker I'd taken from home and start talking <laughs> into it. Cool. And I thought Tony was the only one that was stealing the silverware. I was in the shop with Conrad. <laughs> you know, when when he was over at your house for uh, uh, for that party, did you Everybody check your me. silverware, Alex? No, no. Uh, <laughs> He's coming to your house, Phil. You better check yours. Look, two yeah. entire, uh, two. I got plastic. Two very <laughs> similar backgrounds there. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. That's. Uh, I, I like it. Oh, you're in the Hall of Mirrors, there, Phil. Yeah. My house. Hello, Ray. How are you? Good. How you doing? So anyway, I saw a thing this weekend. Uh, they're running on the HBO Max uh, called Anarchists. Uh, and it's about, it's a documentary. It seems as though every year they have an anarchist convention in Acapulco. It's called uh, Anaco, Ana Acapulco. Uh, and, and they were, it's a whole bunch of people who believe in being anarchists. And uh, it reminded me really that I've always considered myself an anarchist. And what they said was, you know, the trouble is that people don't understand what an anarchist is. That they apply it to certain people who go and hold demonstrations and things like that. You know, I think you've talked about the people in Portland as having been anarchists. But those aren't anarchists. Those are just people making trouble. Anarchists uh, have, a, have a philosophy in life. And they believe, uh, they, they don't believe, for instance, anarchists don't believe in income tax because they feel it's a form of theft. Do they believe in stop signs? No. Well, no, uh, if, so. if, if you're a true, well, here's my theory, my feeling about it. If you're a true anarchist, no, you don't believe in stop signs or stop lights. Light. You believe in letting somebody go before you or they let you go before them and that in a, in a society without rules, you have people who have to somehow understand what the proper rules are. But when you, California. But, but when you set up a bunch of rules for people to go by, you're then telling them, well, this is, this is what you have to do, you know? And uh, so that anarchy is really a kind of uh, discipline that you have to, you have to do what's right. You know, it's not you do what's wrong. So I have always been kind of an anarchist, and if you listen to my opinions on things, they're usually very anarchistic in their in their concepts. You know, and uh, I just uh, I I I one thing they brought up was that they felt that the income tax was um, a form of robbery because it really is. If it's people taking money from you, the government taking money from you. And if you don't give it to them, by the way, there are heavy penalties. Uh, and uh, really, I mean, if they want their taxes, it probably should just be, they should get it from the uh, corporations, to be honest with oh. you. Because only something like, I heard something like 10% of the national income is from private, from the private sector. The it used to be a lot higher. Well, you know where a lot of the income comes from? It comes from employee uh, taxes that the corporation, in many cases, match as well as... Uh, well, they should pay all of it. They should pay, pay all of it. They're benefiting the most from this country anyway. I don't know about that. Oh, yes, they are. No. Come on, Phil. What are you, Robin Hood? In, uh, uh, absolutely. In this case, absolutely. Everybody. We didn't have a personal income tax until 1920s and uh, was that coolidge or uh, no it was uh, you know it caused it you know it caused it to happen uh the uh was it the depression no it was prohibition mm -hmm. because uh, oh, we got a lot of any... taxes we got uh, the majority of taxes that the government got in, in america what are you talking to yourself for alan i think he's on the phone mute alan i'm sorry uh, what was what was it I was saying? Uh, uh, you were talking about yeah, prohibition. Yeah, prohibition. When, when prior to prohibition, the major amount of money in this country that this government made was from alcohol tax, and when they Ill illegalized alcohol, 
Uh, they needed somewhere else to get taxes from, so guess who they came to? But prior to that, we didn't have any taxes for individuals, you know, I and muted, why should we now? I muted the wrong thing. I muted the sound, not my microphone. God, am I getting old. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay, son. <laughs> All right, Dad. <laughs> it's nice Here's to have a dad that actually works and makes some money. I want yeah, my who, allowance. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? I want my allowance. Okay. Well, I did try to get some kind of conversation going no, here. It's Not around here. Huh? Yeah. But anyway, I mean, I just think that uh, we got to do away with income tax to begin with. That's that's a that'd be a good start because it is a form of robbery. So how do you pay for like the police and the military and? Well, we charge companies more. We do more more uh, uh, taxes but on the see, on the, the corporations. Consumer the consumer ends up paying for but it because anyway. we're only paying for about 10 to 15 percent of the of the income this government gets from taxes wait a minute let me finish yeah uh uh you know it's not going to be much that you're going to much pressure you're going to have to put on companies and companies do make the money in this country they're the beneficiaries think, okay. think about this i let's say i'm selling carpet and my freight rate goes up I just I charge more for the yard of carpet because I have a higher freight. You're talking rate. about who, you. Who, <laughs> who pays? Who pays for that yard of carpet? The consumer. So if you have the corporations pay more taxes, who is going to pay uh, for ultimately for the the? You know, you know the problem we have in this. You know the problem we have in this country, Phil. Yeah. Why? Why should anybody? Why should anybody be worth two hundred and twenty billion dollars? Because they worked really hard. Because they yeah. worked really. No, no. They. I, I can tell you that I worked when I was working. I worked as hard as Elon Musk, and I would say a guy working at Seven Eleven works harder than Elon Musk. It, it doesn't matter. It's knowing that the chance of you doing that, even though it's slim, Phil, it's the Phil, opportunity Phil, it's, that well, you can bullshit. do this. You're, you're drinking the Kool-Aid, Phil. You can't do it in Russia. You can't do it in China. Well, I'm not asking Russia to do it in China. Russia. I'm just saying that. Why should anybody have $220 million? Uh, you know, he's going to end Billion, up eventually. Huh? Billion. You know. He's going to buy. Well, he's not buying. Oh, Twitter he's going to anymore. buy more, more candy. What? He's going to buy more steaks. Well, you know, the, the no, guy he's not. He's not going to buy more of anything. He's just going to hoard all that money. He got a hundred and twenty million dollars when he sold um, uh, PayPal, and he, with his mind and his, vision, he was able to parlay that. Is that all he got was a hundred and twenty million. Yeah, Bill, maybe maybe billion. No, no, PayPal. That, when he sold it, he got one hundred and twenty million dollars. I, I, th I, th I think you're there. wrong, Phil. I think eBay. Well, why don't you look it up? How much did Elon Musk get from PayPal? How much did Elon Musk Musk? Oops, wait a minute. Don't you think, Phil, that maybe there should be like something a middle of the road solution like if somebody has 220 billion dollars they're not and they're not getting taxed much th there's a lot of money there that could I, I, help I, all you need to do are you sure it. he's not getting taxed much well, what about churches? Look, he is i mean there's a hell of a lot of money there that he he cannot do anything he with. made about 180 million 180 close enough yeah, I, I knew it. Wasn't. And, and, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. He got green stamps too. It, he was, it, here's what happened eBay purchased PayPal for $1.5 billion. Right, but he wasn't the only partner. Right. right. As a majority shareholder in the company with 11.72% of the shares, Musk made between $175 and $180 million from the deal. All right. But his Trump net. He changed it, to, to a carpet dealer, right? Yeah, it turned to a lot of But down. his net. That'll be eight thousand. His net worth. Uh, uh, let me see here. It doesn't say here. Oh well, it said net worth, and then it didn't show me. Got to remember that that was a snippet of information I remembered from like ten, fifteen years ago. So I but thought it was one hundred twenty. It's partly up to to what he's got now. Yeah, exactly. You know, you got to give the guy credit. He made thirty-seven billion in a single day when the price of Tesla stock soared to thirteen percent. Yeah. 
Well, he didn't steal it from anybody. You know, he made no. it legitimately. You know who doesn't? You know who doesn't disagree with me, Phil? Who's that? Warren Buffett. Well, uh, Warren Buffett. You know, I listen to Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger. I I, I love to listen to their wisdom, and I, I watch them on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, that's really going to help you sell carpet. Go ahead. Not, well, no, it, it does. It, it helps you with ethics and and. Oh uh, really? And then you oh, vote. Yeah. For, then you vote for a guy like Trump who has none. <laughs> he had plenty of ethics. Really? Uh, Did he really name an ethic uh, he had? Well, he, he paid uh, his he paid his hookers. Yeah, yeah, they all pay, got paid. He didn't pay his taxes, like you don't, like. You know. hey, thank you, Brian. Right, he paid off his hookers. Sorry. Yeah. Hey, what about what about churches? What about churches? Right, they're mostly exempt for taxes, yeah, also. Yeah. Yep. And, oh, yeah. There's a good example of tax exemption. Yeah. Yep. I mean, and and how much are some of these churches worth? Well, you know, some of these churches do a lot for people all over the world. Oh, yeah. And you know something? There isn't a single religion in the world that did anything for anybody except take money from them. I, I, How much I is helping worth? All religions are nothing but a financial hustle. Whenever, whenever there's a disaster, the Catholic Church services are the first on the scene helping people oh that's really nice but how like many, helping yeah. anywhere like in helping the world move priests around when they molest little yeah, uh, yeah that's my mother never trusted the Catholic. Uh, ray's got his yeah, hand how up. many yes ray ray yeah. turn on your mic bill it vincent's is. his show joel estine's net worth 100 million dollars who oh, that's joel that's on oh. joel osteen osteen yeah one hundred million dollars. Are you there, Ray? I don't know what's wrong with oh, there, there we go, Ray. Now. You're fine now. Fine now. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So I just wanted to say, Musk, pay uh, his tax bill for 2022 is 11 billion, and Tesla pays zero tax. Well, that's because it's a corporation. Yeah. Uh, I'm just saying, of all that net worth, 11 billion, and that's the most he's ever paid. Before that, he paid an average of three percent a year. He paid more than Trump ever paid. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. But, I mean, he's not paying much tax. No, but he's yeah, still he, listen. He, he, uh, billion. he made like a hundred and fifty billion. That's maybe. what I'm saying. Yeah, is he's is uh, is uh, is is uh, what how what amount of taxes is Gates paying and Buffett and so on? I he's would say probably he paying. probably is giving them every penny they do, they they can get the government can get legally. Well, it's all in the in their foundation, so he's got control over the foundation. And, and, and what do you mean? We're talking about his personal income, Phil. Know, We're talking about his personal Gates, income tax. Most of Gates' money is in the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Yeah, yeah. And uh, now I don't know how that's going to work out. Now he's, you know, one of Epstein's friends. He used to give to Republicans all the time. Epstein doesn't have any friends, Phil. He's dead. <laughs> he got murdered. Yeah. I mean, how, I mean, the how long is it going to be? Hmm? I'm sorry, Ray. Of anyone becoming that rich or worse than winning the lottery. So why do you side with these people? I mean, I'm not siding. I'm just saying that you didn't saying do anything that we wrong. all should be able to. It's good because we all might be able to do that. Well, no, we won't. Well, it, it's no, the American no, dream that, you know, someday you can succeed. Now, maybe he succeeded to excess. But if you look at uh, Vanderbilt and you look at these uh, these barons from the uh, uh, two, uh, you know, last century, Mm -hmm. uh, you got Crocker, you got well, uh, you got Vanderbilt, you, you you had Stanford, you had all of these people that made uh, obscene amounts of money mm -hmm. in those years, and there wasn't tax, right? And they were they were allowed to do it, and so. But you does know, that make it right? It doesn't make it wrong, though. Well, I'm not really? saying right or wrong. I'm just saying for the for the betterment of our society as a whole, what what is the good? of these people having that much money well that money is in the bank it gets loaned out and people are How able are you to sure it gets you, you're 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 attributing to that money facts you don't have at hand well what do you think he keeps it in his mattress i would say he probably you know he I, well he's certainly doing more with it than a lot of other people but i'm saying that you look at a, a who's that guy down in the south bay uh, what's his name who owns uh, 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 larry ellison larry oh, ellison's one of the biggest oh, yeah, assholes in america 
Okay. Yeah, yeah. And he Alan had, and I have a friend that works for and him. And he hasn't given away his money to anybody. Or if he yeah. has, it's very little. Okay. Uh, you know another guy who was cheap that way? Steve Jobs. He didn't mind being yeah. a billionaire. He minded giving any of it away. Yeah, I, I, I was listening to a, a thing. Steve Wozniak uh, mm -hmm. was uh, at a uh, Apple store. and uh, He's he working said, behind the Genius Bar now. Right? Yeah. <laughs> well, he, 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 said, he said to uh, uh, one of the people working there that, that didn't recognize him. Mm -hmm. And he said, I want you to give this guy my employee discount. And the guy says, "Well, what's your what's your employee number?" He says, "One." One. <laughs> <laughs> and he says, "What?" He says, "One." <laughs> so, and what was his employee discount? Well, I don't know. The oh. guy was getting a computer, and, and Wozniak wanted him to get it. So, maybe, who knows what they give him off? Probably at Apple, it wasn't much. One. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my employee number. One. <laughs> yeah. But all I'm saying is, is that you know, I mean, you, you seem to act like, oh, all these billionaires, they do really nice things with their money. Some don't do Some shit do. with their money. They mm -hmm. do. They, they buy. Yeah, his... Melinda Gates does good with their money. Yeah. Warren Buffett does good with his money. Well, you know uh, why? You know why Bill and Melinda Gates do good with their money? Because they met up with Warren Buffett, who told them how to be good with your money. Absolutely. Yeah. Otherwise, Absolutely. they would. Bill Bill Gates had no idea of that. You know, he should be spending right. his money on Bill, things. Bill Bill Gates was hated, uh, and uh, he needed to find a way to not be so hated. And this is what he did. No, maybe he found a way to be decent. Yeah, anyway, but do you remember how hated he yeah, was? Of Everybody course. Hated of course. Him. What What's the guy's name that owns Salesforce in San Francisco? Um. um uh, yeah. Sales. Hmm. What's his name? Soupy Sales. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, he's he, he's uh, done very well. He's giving away a lot of money too. Yeah, the Children's Hospital is. Uh, yep. In Oakland, Melinda Gates fund tuberculosis for our company. So when we were young, uh, Ben Melinda Gates they do. We did uh, testing so for. How, so how many? So how many people? people got, Africa. So they were they. they <laughs> They do stuff. So, how many people got tuberculosis in your company? In Africa, oh, yeah. In so, Africa. so what they did is we went and we built the test for for them, and then we can use that to sell to other companies for our price, but we give them a huge discount mm -hmm. for Africa. So, we have people in vans now. They used to be on motorcycles, but now they're in vans mm -hmm. that go from tribe to well, tribe. Well, you know, one day, one day, That's Bill, Bill, Bill Gates time. woke up and became a decent human being. Uh, and, and that uh, afraid of being assassinated, I think, uh, is good. But you know, on the other hand, yeah, you know. you know, the day may come that Elon Musk will do this. But who knows what he's going Elon to do? Elon Musk is already for. doing it. He is contributing to this society by number one, creating a car that doesn't pollute the air, and secondly, he is that whole space program of his may start saving uh, this civilization by moving it somewhere else okay the guy is doing great stuff mm. with his money yeah. uh, and there is philanthropy there too but yeah. uh, most of it is into these businesses that he's turning into things that are going to help people and help this uh, this planet survive or maybe not survive yeah. here but survive but, somewhere else the, i don't know where the guy CEO wakes up in the morning what what we're going to say alan now. Sorry, Phil. The, the founder and CEO of Salesforce is Mark Benioff. There's yeah. a children's hospital in the Bay Area named after him. He's giving his money away all, and he's a young guy. Well, you got to remember. Like, you got to remember that there was this company. I'm trying to remember the name of the of, of the people who own the company that put out OxyContin. Oh, um, um, was it Johnson or something like that. No, or? it started with an S, I think. What was the name of the company? Uh, uh, they're, uh, they're out of business. Uh, you oh, you're talking about Purdue that put Purdue, out Oxycontin. Purdue, yeah. yeah. Well, the people uh, who Purdue's still in business. The they're pharmaceutical the people company. who own Purdue had their oh, names yeah. on more museums and hospitals and everything in this country. Sure. And, but nobody will take their money anymore because they okay. don't want any of that that drug money. That's drug money, legal drug money, but it's drug money nonetheless. Caused an ep epidemic in this country. Of addiction, you couldn't believe. 
I, did you get the Pfizer or Moderna shot, Alex? I got the Pfizer. Pfizer is one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world. You got pills that it probably helped save you from getting COVID bad, made by Pfizer. I have no problem with Pfizer uh, uh, pushing their pills. Yeah, on the other hand, there's problem. nothing wrong with Moderna either. They're a new company. Oh. They're a new company. Well, Viagra. <clears throat> what? If Viagra, I Pfizer, Viagra is it? a Pfizer drug too, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, <coughs> save the world. <laughs> you know, but uh, and and it didn't save my life. I took it, and it saved me from having to get slightly worse than I might have. I, I might didn't have been. say it saved your life. What was that Viagra? It probably saved you from getting a bad case. Well, m not not even that. I think I probably wouldn't have gotten a bad case, but we were t we didn't want to take the chance. You, right, you had no idea. So to, I shall return. The smart move. The smart move was to to take right. the pills. And by the way, it's interesting that if people really today, it, it's good to be vaccinated, and you should be. But if you aren't, this is the second line of defense for you. Oh, did Fox blow that out of proportion? They had Dr. Fauci on TV today, and they said Fauci admitted that the vaccines are are not doing any good. No, what Fauci admitted, and if you listen to your own interview is Fauci. Fauci admitted that the vaccines are not doing much good against mild symptoms, but they are protecting people from hospitalization and death for the most part, which is exactly what a vaccine is supposed to do, any vaccine. Yeah, but, you know, the, but, it's not, but, but it, these it, pills, these pills. They're a game changer. Absolutely. Absolute game you don't even need to be vaccinated mm. to get pills. And you can take them more than once, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You got to be careful with your kidneys and uh, <clears throat> liver, I think. Well, no, that is not like your doctor did the right he thing. He gave me the, there are two doses. Right. Uh, there's one that's uh, called renal and one that isn't. Right. And uh, the, the renal right. one is only two pills as opposed to three a day mm -hmm. or, or three or six a day. Uh, and It's uh, not as much chemical, right? It, it's No, it doesn't have that thing and it goes for, to your kidneys. Right. Okay. Good. And since I have mild kidney dysfunction, he didn't think it was good for me, and he didn't mm -hmm. feel it was good for Marjorie. Smart choice. Smart choice. Sounds like you got a good doctor. Yeah. So, you know. By the way, did you say that all of a sudden these pills, the, the uh, 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 Paxlovin, mm -hmm. uh, which is Jerry, another Jerry Lewis drug, Paxlovin, uh, is uh, now pharmacists can pres just prescribe it? Yeah, the FDA last mm -hmm. week, we were talking about it on the show, uh, Wednesday or Thursday, the, the FDA said pharmacists now, if you test positive at the pharmacy, they don't need to get a doctor involved. If they're, if they're a licensed pharmacist in the country, uh, that they can prescribe the pills. Good. And they, you guys may be vaccinated, but I'm going to be evacuated. Oh, he's got oh, yeah, oh yeah, with yeah. any luck, you'll plug up. Yep, your colonoscopy coming? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Am I, am did I you, did you now you your mic is low. Your, your mic low? Is, is low now. I don't know what is wrong with this. I have the same soundboard you have, and I don't know why the gain is so You have the same soundboard I have? Yeah. What kind of soundboard? The Pro FX. Radio Shack? Yeah, that's mine. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you showed it. I don't know what the hell's wrong. Now you're sounding good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Zoom. I turned the I turned the original sound on and off and back off and now it works okay. I guess maybe your pod is dirty. My pod. 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 Potentiometer. Yeah, potentiometer. Oops. Oh, what's that? <laughs> That's the thing that you turn on and off or up and down. Oh, yes. it's like there's, a big, there's there's like cleaners. A you, yeah, there's cleaners that you can use too. Oh, that's probably what it is. It's Actually, you yeah, know, on a bass guitar, on an electric guitar, the little things that adjust are potentiometers and they recommend you play around with them a little bit and keep them clean. That's why we call them in radio, why we call them POTS. Uh, short for potentiometer. You know, right. How do you get it clean underneath the crack there? That's you gotta open well, it up that, and that, you spray down. For that you have to use a bidet. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you're, you're, I you're, knew uh, that was uh, Alan, what, what's, the, what's the spray call that you use to clean well, a... But, uh, what kind of a talk program is uh, this? Electronic contact spray. What's I don't happening? know. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is, but... Uh, this is all fascinating. Spray. This is all fascinating yeah. for people. Just remember to unplug it. <laughs> oh, I will, I will. This is Thanks. just fascinating discussion. Mm. 
That's enough of that. Yeah. Uh, I have some of that spray right over here. Yeah. <laughs> Did anyone it's see the, the Top Gun movie? No. It's yeah. good. You're good. A lot of fun to, in the theater. I mean, you feel it. Like, your seat rumbles and... Uh, don't they have seats in those theaters that move and rumble uh, and shake? Yeah, uh, mine did. Yeah. And it was like not, not, just from, yeah. not just from the sound, but they're set up to move. I think so, yeah. It definitely was moving. Well, all I know is that I have no intention of seeing it or watching it when it's on on, uh, on demand or whatever. It's fun. Yeah. I just, get more. I just watched a movie tonight. I started watching. It was called Princess. It's on Hulu. And it is an, a film that is an action film from the first frame to the last frame. <laughs> it's just constant action. And it's all about this princess who's being held by this guy uh, who takes over from her father, the king. And uh, she kicks ass she learned martial arts from a woman who was her you know her her what do you call her uh, i don't know caretaker or whatever and and she just can really kick ass and it's a very i i told marjorie afterwards i said it's one of the most feminist movies i've ever seen i mean this woman just takes charge princess you know it's called princess i it's it, it's pretty good it's on what? Good. On that, it was called Jessica Jones, wasn't it? No. What were you get? What were you saying? Uh, right? uh, on what? On Hulu? On Hulu. It's called Princess, and she kicks ass. She she must have killed three hundred people in this picture. I mean, uh, uh, and she you know, Needless to say, she survives at the end. But you know, it's a, it's, a, it's good. Good. I I enjoyed it. I was surprised. I sat there and watched the whole thing. It's pretty short. It's only about an hour and forty minutes. So it's, I got it's a, Hulu, and I'm I'm happy with it. You know, there there's a lot more stuff that I wasn't seeing because, uh, like you said, Netflix you're really bored with. I've seen I'm, everything. I'm bored to tears with it. There's I'm nothing bored left. Bored to tears with it. Yeah. Ray and Amazon, uh, Amazon and, and on Messenger. I just sent you. A cam of the I didn't send you the cam, but what the stuff Jeez, is. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, okay, thanks. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. You can buy it at any hardware store, sure. <laughs> anyway. You no, know, you gotta get good contact cleaner. Oh it's... God. Oh, somebody help me. Here we go. <laughs> somebody <laughs> help me. How about that Trump? Yeah. <laughs> He all, uses yeah. contact cleaner. All I wanted to do was a program where we discuss social issues and political issues. And what do I get? Contact cleaner for your potentiometers. <laughs> you, get, you get prep. Well, look what they're making me drink. Look at this. That, I hope. By the way, I hope that will also Kool Aid. That will also something. clean out the potentiometers on your uh, audio. <laughs> it <sure> will. <laughs> it's going to clean my potentiometer. Yeah. You, you know when the, this is his first colonoscopy, right? Yes. Yes. You know they're probably going to find Trump's watch up your ass. <laughs> no, they're going to find some. They find they, the they find some of the bar mitzvah. Some, they're going to find some of those hidden ballots up his ass. <laughs> the fun thing that thing will clean you out so well that you will not have to okay. go number two. Okay, people who have talked tonight, shut up for a minute. Okay, I want to talk to some people who haven't said anything, like Charlie. Oh, Charlie hasn't said crap. Well, y'all been saying it all. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> what's your take on stuff? I mean, when you have to clean a potentiometer, what do you use? <laughs> I've never seen the potentiometer. <laughs> it's about time. Yeah. Maybe I, I think Charlie's life. four colonoscopies, right? Um, I have had three. I'm going to have my fourth next year. Wow. I got one. My last one I got when I think I was 78. That was four years ago. And he hasn't called me. He said, well, we found, you know, they found a polyp or two or something like and he said, well, we, I don't know. At your age, I don't know if we want to do another one. That's right. Okay. The, you the American those Medical Association. Tests? I'm sorry, Phil. The Alex? American Medical what? Association says that 72 or 75 is kind of the cutout 
because there's a more like you have a higher likelihood of dying of something else than you do of colon well, that's cancer. really nice to know well, you know, you, I'd like to think maybe I'm reading it right here. To, oh, but I'm sorry. Uh, I would have lived to be 100, but I didn't go so get that colonoscopy. Just ask the doctor for it. Mother had one. Similar. Ask the doctor for another one. Who cares? Well, I was going to I was going to ask him uh, just what he thought, because I, I he was always very good about getting a hold of me every now and then and say the only person who got a hold of me was my uh, my regular doctor who said, well, you should maybe go out. You know, it's time for you to get a colonoscopy. And. I'm thinking it's not your job to tell me it's time to get a colonoscopy. It's my, you know, uh, ga uh, ga gastroenterologist uh, ability to tell me. And do you ever, do you ever do one of these? It's the fit test. I didn't do it because I'm doing a colonoscopy. It looks like it's a UPS label. Yeah, it's like well, well, it, it is. is. Take part. You, as you can see, I you, this thing. Thing. you know, got, it's got uh, got two different teaser. Yeah, I'll put it there. So we're. Okay, Thing down. That's a ray. Oh, uh, it, it, it's got something where you put the poop in it and you mail it back. Yeah, oh, it's I've like done that several times. Yeah, I've been doing today. it every year. Yeah, the, the only trouble is they're not highly accurate, and if they find something abnormal, then they have to still do the colonoscopy anyhow. This is no effort. And I was just thinking that maybe Alex would want to do something like this yeah. uh, if he's not going to do a colonoscopy. You know, that's least. right. I do that every year. Yeah, every year. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I I haven't. Um, he hasn't called me, and he's he's pre he's pretty good. He always used to call me. Time for your colonoscopy. You know. About every five years, right? No. Well, it should be every three years because I had polyps, but. Oh. He, he, he told me once, he said, if you get a polyp and it turns to cancer, he said it'll be 10 years before it ever does. If I cleaned you out oh, yesterday, really? 10 years before, if you didn't do anything, anything would happen to you. Yeah. Th that's why they recommend when you're younger every 10 years. Because no, they recommend years. every five years. Yeah, five years. Not at Kaiser. 10 years until they found a polyp last time. Right. Then, Five years. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's correct. I have to go every three because I'm a polyp machine. Mm. Really? Yeah. Oh, Why don't you do show and tell? Do you have I a couple? Have a, I, just, I, show us? I had a friend who was a comedian named Kevin Polyp. Yeah. And, uh, oh, Pollock. <laughs> it was Pollock. Pollock. Polyp. Whatever. So anyway, um, so I'm an anarchist. Anybody have a problem with that? Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't like it. Why? No, I think that you should fall in line, follow the law, stop at stop signs, and uh, well, you know, I have to because that's the way the society. And tip your is. servers. But I don't have to say I like it. Yeah, you know. and just remember to tip your server. Oh look, a cute little girl has entered uh, the room. Hmm? No, no she, came back yet. Oh, and, wait a minute. I, oh no, you said cute little. Girl. Oh, I guess I was mistaken. There mm -hmm. isn't a cute little girl who came into the room. The no. COVID spreader. Where is she? The COVID right, spreader. Is she right behind, is she behind the chair? You're asking if you gave me COVID. Did you give me COVID? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> okay, let me get rid of her. You don't have to get rid of her. So there's right. another COVID variant coming. Hmm. Oh, really? What's this oh, one he's called? A COVID in variant. India, I think they're, calling, they're changing the number. I don't know where they get their numbering system. Two point. 275 or something that's in the Indian going nuts. It's taken over BA. Oh, 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 hold on a well, let's go to Charlie. Charlie, how many people died uh, today of COVID? 928. And the number's going the, down again. What what has it been the last couple? It's of averaging about 538 per day. Okay. So that's higher than average. Yeah. But still, that's pretty low. Considering yeah. what was happening, what what was it at the high? It was almost five thousand a day uh, in January mm -hmm. twenty twenty. Uh, so we're, one. we're down by more than uh, ninety percent. Yeah. How yeah. many people have died? Uh, COVID's been out since what twenty twenty? Yes, yeah, since March twenty twenty was the first death. Yeah. Uh, okay, and so how how long? How many people have died? You know, originally when it came out. There was 
a ton of people hospitalized, a ton of people died. Yeah. And now uh, are the death rates since Biden came in to the death rates uh, uh, of when Trump was there? I knew he was going to say that. I was like thinking, oh, I won't assume that he's going to say that. I, yeah, I didn't, well, I, obviously by it. the sign, not that again. Jesus. Yeah. What's with the Chinese thing? When you get well, more people were dying under Trump than are dying under Biden. Think yeah. it, 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 it's apples think and oranges, Phil. It's been explained to you fifteen times every time you bring it up. Well, just look at the look at the numbers. Charlie yeah. cites the numbers, and more people have died under Biden than under Trump because it was just ramping up under Trump. He didn't do anything to but stop. They didn't it. have Wait, a let me finish. He didn't do anything to stop it from ramping up, and then by the time we got to Biden, he didn't have the uh, really the uh, the uh, vaccine until. Maybe April, June no, of that he, year, he, May of that year. He got no, the vaccine no. before he took He office. got it, but it was, they were only starting to ramp it up, Phil. It wasn't getting a large level of people getting the, the vaccine. But he made sure they got into people's arms, and that amount started going down. Yeah. They, uh, you got to uh, remember, uh, Trump uh, is uh, the guy who told uh, us that uh, ivermectin worked, you know? And bleach. Got to remember the bleach. And bleach. bleach. And, uh, How do you pronounce that? Ivermectin. No, it's not. Fluorescent <laughs> tube up your ass. Huh? Mm -hmm. What'd you say? What'd you say? And the fluorescent tube. Remember, he said they get the fluorescent oh, light that's up, right. up oh, your yeah. ass. He was Maybe that's what Phil's Phil, Phil, that you're doing tomorrow. A, a, a UV light. UV I'm going light. to get the light. I'm going to see the light. UV light. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, how long does it take until this works? Oh, wait, you'll feel about it. Oh, what's it hits in, Phil? A few <laughs> hours, uh, three or four hours, it'll work. Don't, it's not instant. Once it starts uh, happening, it doesn't stop. No. Yeah. Really no. Don't get too far from the bathroom. That's right. Handy wipes, uh, baby wipes come in real handy. Well, towards the yeah. end, you really don't get, all you're getting is water coming out. That's right. You know, that's good. If it's clear, you're doing great, you know. The laxative draws in moisture into your colon without getting technical, and that that's what makes you go. And you, you need. So let's see here. For me, that just that stuff makes me sick to my stomach. Oh yeah, it does that too. Makes me nauseous. Oh, I just go out. I literally tasty. go out in the backyard. I drink it and puke. Drink so and puke. We're, this we're, is really uh, tasty. Basically, we're we're talking, Fire. we're talking about. Uh, um, Let's see here about potentiometer cleaner. <laughs> Again. And 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 bowel cleaner. Absolutely. Uh, this mm -hmm. is a that's really the, that's the theme. Really good. This show is really good. Good. Well, shitty. Thanks to godliness. Well, mm -hmm. anybody know of any good vacuum cleaners? Let's just keep a theme going here. But 38 people are watching. Yeah. yeah, they are. Are you people out of your fucking mind? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm one. I'm one, so. Yeah. Uh, Me too, all of I'm you, one. don't forget oh, to give a cool. thumbs up to the Alex, uh, Alex's ramble. By the way, I washed my car today. Oh, by the way, everybody you, should you would do that. a good, uh, Thank very you, helpful Jeff. to us, you 38 people, or anybody who might be watching the reruns of this program, if you'd hit the subscribe button. There it is. Smash, smash the button. Smash, smash, the, button. smash the su subscribe button. <laughs> and you might hit the notification bell because then it will let you know every time we're on the air. In other words, we'll be as annoying as Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Who's been pretty quiet tonight. By the way, did you do you have that recording of Tony again that we can uh, play yeah. for Tony while he's here? Oh, he saved yeah, text me, messages from seven years ago. Let me find it. There's uh, Tony. Tony, 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 Tony. I know he's going to Trump's side because he hasn't called me at all for like two weeks. <laughs> Aren't you lucky? Mm -hmm. no, keep that fucking on. <laughs> he he got Trump called him a fucking father and he called him a war criminal. You know what? He called him the fucking truth. He did. Yes. He has got a fucking axe to grind with this guy. Turn him. Who called in the troops? Wait a minute, hold on a second. Who called in the troops, Tony? Uh, when Trump called Dick Cheney a war criminal with the weapons of mass destruction, that was all accurate. No, he called McCain a war criminal. 
Yes. Dick Cheney. Dick Cheney. No. No, no, no. he called McCain, not Dick Cheney. He Dick called John McCain. Long gone. He called, he called John McCain a no, John, wimp. Uh, not, but Lee Cheney's loser. Dad, he was giving a loser for getting call. caught. Yeah, yeah, he called yeah, him a war criminal yeah. for the weapons of mass destruction that they never well, found. Well, Cheney is a war criminal. And he said that, and she's got a hot on for him, Liz Cheney. There's no doubt in my mind. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, but, well, yeah, but he deserves it. So someone needs to have a hard on for him. He's, he's a criminal. No, but I mean, I don't trust anything she really says because she's sitting up there with a hard on for him. Let's clear this enough. up. Let's clear this up. And I think this is important before we get the show is over <laughs> with. And that is Liz Cheney is a woman. She doesn't get a hard on. True. <laughs> okay. She's got like, so I'm so you saying, if you said she got wet, well, okay, you in, in Tony's world she can get a hard on. But he actually I'm telling you Tony, she, when it comes to politics, do me a favor, Tony. When it comes yeah. to politics, shut the fuck up. But I'm right about it. Okay, her. no, you're Tony, not. Tony, you're not. not. I mean, even no, if you not. are right, even if you are I, right, I, I, and where, is she, and where did you get your information? Don't you feel? TikTok. Yeah. TikTok. Play me on the air, please, because I didn't ask you to play me on the air. I want to. I want to see him burn. Yeah, that. If I'm giving you a message, you don't have I'll to play it. What we're going to do from here on in, Tony? I'm going to get anybody no, here. Anybody too. here who gets messages from Tony, create a file out of it and send should it to I, me, and I, I will post it on my Facebook, Facebook page. Okay. That's, just, that's a bush league thing to do. I think Facebook. No, will the Bush shut thing league is to call him ten times a day with these. No, but I mean messages. that's a private message. If you also, want to ask me, ask me that's on. That's not a head private head. message. It's a, hey, it's you've been chicken. Uh, he he sits there and he sends no, this no, no, all but day but long. All I'm is you but, could ask me what I feel about her, and ask, I just said it. Did I just ask, say? It? Did I just yeah. say it? Well, yeah, you said it. Okay. Okay. So, so I was so Why do we have to listen to you say it? Why can we just play you saying it? Yeah, because that's a private message. It's much easier to do. No, it's not a private message. Even if I'm not on the air, if I'm on the air, then you can ask. It's not a private message. You send it to uh, Phil. Yeah, it was a private. It was a private private with Phil. It was nothing. I know that. But if I'm on the air, you can just ask me. That's come on. You know, I would like to ask you, Alan. If I'm talking to you, uh, please, because you voted for Trump twice and you don't even say jack (laughs) shit anymore. So what do you got to say about that? Who voted for Trump twice? Alan. Alan, he only voted no, for I once. No, I didn't. Only he only one. voted once. And also, him. I would like to, Tony, where is the data about uh, Trump calling no, you know what it was? a war when criminal? He, when he had the, uh, when he had, he had the uh, debate, and he pretty much called him out for the weapons of mass destruction. I can't pull it right out, but he called her father a war criminal. He was right. Look, I want to hear, I want to I want to see where she said he's a, where he said he was a war criminal. I'm looking everywhere. I cannot find it anywhere. No, everybody called him a war criminal. Not not necessarily Trump. But he was talking about about potentiometers. Yeah. uh, How much of this shit do I have to drink until it starts working? Oh, this shows almost at least half at least half the bottle. Thank you. And then it takes about three hours. I got a third. Mm. I've already drank drank a third of it. Like you eight ounces it, every fifteen minutes. You wait; it's going to make you feel nauseous. No, it's not going to make him feel right. nauseous. Yeah. Well, they need to concentrate. Usually doesn't, minute. but that stuff. At least I could have thrown up. <laughs> you lock your kid out. Oh, the, you open the door for her. Yeah, I remember she got mad at me because I didn't let her know the end of the show. Come on, it's in the show. Come on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, just say good night. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, I'll start playing the thing here. There she goes. There she is. Hey, he's gonna say goodnight, Adrian. Does my camera look great? Don't you think this? It does look great. Yeah. How are you wearing a hat, Alex? What? Why aren't you wearing a hat? Because I didn't feel like wearing a hat. Now you're too loud. I know. Now too loud? Jesus Christ! (laughs) Order that spray that I sent you, Ray. Uh, Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. Brian, thank you, Adrian. She pops up like, like that's like where's Waldo? There she is down in the corner. Uh, 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 thank Doing you, the Adrian. Doing the Adrian, Doing the Adrian yeah, shuffle. Thank you, Charlie. Him. Appreciate it. Thank you, uh, uh, Jeff. Thank you to Tony, and thank you to Ray. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. Okay. 
There they go, folks. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, there'll be another one assembling tomorrow night. Right here to talk about all things cleaner. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, that's it for tonight. I'm Alex Bennett. And uh, uh, stay tuned for Jack Bishop. He's next over most of the same station with the intersection at GabNet Live on Skype. I'll be here again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay? Good night, everybody. Good night.